Hi, everybody. My name is Greg Paulson. I am the Director of Application Engineering at Zometry, and I wanted to thank you for checking out today's Demo Jam. So we are saying quotes in moments, parts in days, become a power user of Zometry's platform. So my goal in the next 10 to 15 minutes or so is going to show you how to use Zometry's site and I'm going to stop along the way and talk about some of the processes that we have that are very specific to AM medical and helping produce either prototype medical devices or move into production services. Um, I also am going to show you some of the resources that we have to help you choose and help you learn along the way, because it's not just about parts that you have designed and ready to make, but it's also about that design process itself. So I'm going to dive right in, talk to you about, uh, about Zometry a little bit as we drive through the site. Let's get started. OK, so I am on Zometry's manufacturing site right now. So uh, this is our home page here. And first off, you could see that we already offer a lot of different processes. So Zometry actually has worked to be a go-to place for all things manufacturing. And we're working on that discrete part manufacturing right now, moving to assemblies and weldments and even further into contract manufacturing. Um, we offer eight different types of 3D printing. Uh, we offer CNC machining services. We have injection molding. So you name the material, we could probably mold it for you. Uh, sheet metal services. And we also have other peripheral services for raw, raw materials and goods and just finishing of parts as well. One of the things that makes Zometry so powerful is that we have created an interface with all these manufacturing technologies where you could go work and get a quote, get pricing uh, instantly in most cases, and then press go. And we manage that supply chain for you. Zometry is actually connected to over 5,000 manufacturing partners globally, 3,500 of those being within the domestic United States. Uh, we also have a branch out of Europe, Zometry Europe. So if you're watching this and you're actually uh, uh, on, in the EU or if you're in the UK or Switzerland, uh, Zometry Europe is going to be your go-to spot. So I'm going to jump in to get a quote because we just don't have a lot of time to go through everything. Uh, but uh, I do want to say that we do have amazing resources through our site as you drive through here. And I'm going to give you the highlight reel, but just to know that that resources tab is really great, as well as just knowing more about our capabilities. You could go here and just see a smorgasbord of capabilities. So let's click get a quote, though, and get started here. Well, actually, first, I got to sign in. <clears throat> so one of the things that you're going to see is uh, you're going to create a sign in, and that's going to be your portal. So connected to your email is all the parts you're going to be uploading, and those are secured on Zometry website. We actually accept most major file types for our instant quoting platform. We are looking for a 3D model, and you can always accompany that with a drawing once we have that model uploaded. So the file types that we take are step files, uh, solid, solid parts, IPTs, PRTs, so those native exports that you you may have uh, directly from your uh, from your CAD program. So if you're running CATIA or, or SolidWorks or Inventor, you just take those native. We do have a DXF uh, acceptance, and that's more like for an extruder. So if you're doing like a flat profile where you need something like sheet metal cut, for example. Um, and if, if you are uploading an STL, that's only going to be good for things like 3D printing or urethane cast services. Just a quick nav of the dashboard, though. So most of the work that you're going to do is going to be in this upper left. So that's an instant online quoting. And you're going to see all the materials that we offer for instant pricing in just a second here. Um, you're also going to see around here, you could jump to your previous quote on your dashboard. And we do have something called the digital RFQ marketplace. So if you do have something that's a little bit more complex or you have a requirement by year policies for a competitive bid, this may be the place to go. Uh, this is mostly for CNC machining and sheet metal services, as well as some other services like stamping and die casting. We do have one 3D printed metal service under our RFQ marketplace, and that's going to be X1's binder jet metal process. Uh, so that's where you would go for those. But most of it is going to be up here in the upper left. So let's click Recent Uploads. And again, this is my digital parts library that I could go through and select a part. And actually, I got this cool little sample part right here. So I'm going to go and click this click next. 
you can you can choose your manufacturing uh, process or material if you have an idea of it of what it is or you can just click get an instant quote so i just click get an instant quote there and you can see that as i'm finishing up the sentence i already have pricing so again we're solving this problem of procurement uh, you know, a lot of times we are waiting for pricing. You may be actually waiting days to get this feedback. And something that Zometry does is we injected actually data science, machine learning, and really interesting state of the industry tech to interpret that, that geometry and price it out instantly in a multitude of processes. And as I mentioned, it's not just 3D printing processes, but it's other traditional processes like sheet metal and, uh, and CNC machining. Obviously, this is not a sheet metal part, though. So let's navigate around the quoting engine. Uh, of course, you can see the part right here. I'm gonna go into modify part in just a moment here. So that modify is gonna be where I could go and change my processes and materials and see how my pricing updates immediately. Um, if I do have requirements for certifications, uh, so a lot of times, even if I'm doing a prototype, I may require things like COCs or material certifications. Those are going to be your check boxes away, away here, as well as if you have something that is export controlled. Um, we do a lot of work in the aerospace and defense industry, so that ITAR EAR registration is very important, and that'll be that check box right here. But you can always just add a check box, save it, and it's going to apply to your quote. The other things that uh, you'll see is that right now, these are unavailable for expired standard and economy, but as you change your materials, you're gonna see those highlight if those options are available. So let me go click modify part. And you can see that this part actually defaulted to the lowest price option that we had for this geometry in particular, which is gonna be HP Multi-Jet Fusion. So that uh, is a general purpose 3D printing material, um, actually very strong, it's a nylon 12. Uh, USB class six uh, can actually be sterilized, so autoclave sterilized. Um, so even though it's the lowest price, it's actually one of the more versatile ones out there. And it goes hand in hand with other processes like selective laser sintering, which, are also, which is also a process that can uh, has similar properties where it's usually a nylon base and uh, can go through uh, different levels of sterilization for it. So it's very common to use for medical uh, prototyping. Uh, the one downside of that material is that it is a little porous on the outer sides of that. So if you get splashes on it, it will actually absorb that uh, um, absorb that and stain, and it's something that a lot of times when you're using in a medical environment, it may be a disposable. So like if you're using for a guide or something, it may be a more of a disposable use than a multi-use item because of that surface finish. Um, I'm going to click click under process here, but you can see from 3D printing, we offer things like that multi-jet fusion, which again, nylon 12s, nylon 11s, TPU materials. Um, nylon 12s are also available for uh, selective laser sintering. And then we have other thermoplastics available through fused deposition modeling, so FDM. Uh, and these are the Fortis materials. So think uh, ABS uh, M30s, ASA. We have a static dispositive uh, SD7. And from a medical side, we have ABS M30i, uh, which can be ETO sterilized. Don't autoclave it because you may get a part that looks like this <laughs> after a little bit of autoclave. Uh, so just be aware, just make sure to read the data sheet uh, when you look at these different uh, these different options here. Uh, but we also have things like polycarbonate and uh, PCISO, which is a medical uh, polycarbonate, and the Ultim materials for very high temp, uh, very uh, very uh, durable materials as well. So let's take a look at this in PCISO, and you can see how that pricing again updates, and I even have an expedite option for this. Other, so from our thermoplastic sides, we have that laser sintering, multi-jet fusion, and fused deposition modeling. We also have thermoset materials. Uh, so most common, uh, when you think about thermosets, are those polyjet and stereolithography. So polyjet is a liquid droplet uh, a manufacturing technology that can create nice, accurate models. But what's neat about it is you can also do multiple materials, usually for like a feels-like prototype. So think uh, a rigid material with a rubber-like uh, to look at an overmold. But just understand that it has its limitations because it doesn't always stretch like a rubber um, on, those, on those materials, but it's very good for that prototype, uh, prototype feel. 
And then SLA is probably one of the kings when it comes to prototyping for medical devices because it has a very good blend of mechanical performance with surface smoothness. Uh, Zometry has a huge range of auto-quoting SLA materials. We have over 15 different materials. Um, some of the most common that we see are things like Acura Extreme Gray, Acura Extreme White, um, but we also have some more unique ones. In fact, actually this design here, I have it prototyped in our Somos Perform, which is a ceramic filled uh, composite material right here that, uh, that gives it a very high stiffness, um, you know, nice weight to the, the, to the space as well. Something to note though is whenever you use a ceramic filled SLA resin, do not expect it to bend. It will snap if you do try to bend it. We have other materials that bend a lot better than that. Other things that often I'm looking for when I'm designing a prototype, I may actually need something like a light pipe or something with a clear window. Um, one of our materials, Acura Clearview, uh, we do have different options for this under SLA where I can change from standard to high resolution, as well as I have a finish called Quick Clear. And Quick Clear, if I have my piece around me, um, Quick Clear will give you a nice kind of ice cube translucency to that. So essentially it's it's uh, the growth of the part and then a clear coat and it's it helps you get a nice demonstrable prototype uh, with a with a clear instance in a very quick lead time. So what else on this site can I show you? So first off, if I do change uh, my my quantities, you will see that the pricing does amortize uh, uh, instantly depending on the process that you have. Um, some of these processes do amortize better. So if I'm, for example, if I'm using the 3D printing process, carbon digital light synthesis, this one favors the many and usually favors parts that are gonna be smaller than this part here. So usually about uh, three inches by two inches by one inch or smaller, uh, but they, it tends to like this part, those ranges from like the five to 50 plus uh, because the way that it, it consumes the resin and it does have very high throughput. Uh, so DLS, though, is this great blend where you can actually 3D print with, without needing to go to production because you get end-use production parts out of that. You have some great high-temp materials, some great elastomers under carbon DLS 3D printing. Uh, but sometimes there's materials that you just can't print yet or may not be accessible. And I do want to note that even though we're talking mostly printing here, if I need peak, you know, we can machine parts in peak if I need PTFE. I can do that. I could choose stainless steels. I could choose titanium machined as well, and I'm not leaving aside. And that's kind of the power of this uh, on-demand manufacturing platform like Zometry is that I can very quickly maneuver um, between different processes as I'm moving from prototype to end use functional production parts. And when I'm CNC machined, so I have this PTFE part here, I could add even more features to it. So I could add threads tapped holes to this. It's gonna yell at me to add a drawing so you can upload your drawing. We're gonna read that here. I can specify tighter tolerances, uh, surface roughness callouts. If I need uh, uh, certain requirements like bag and tag, if I need an inspection report, all these items are just a click away. So the takeaway that I have uh, for this from our instant quoting site is that we have all these great materials we have the, the options to move from this 3D printing to different scaling options. And we also have the, um, the team on hand to help you decide when that makes sense and what's most cost effective for you. I really hope you enjoyed this very quick demo jam about uh, Zometry's instant quoting engine. And I encourage you to keep the conversation going. Stop by our booth, uh, say hello. Uh, if you wanna shoot me an email, my email is gpaulsen, G-P-A-U-L-S-E-N at zometry.com. And thank you so much for your time.